You know, obviously, um, Connecticut did a great job of uh, punching us um, first half. Um, I didn't think we responded uh, very well. Um, but you know, the second half, <clears throat> I don't, there's no raised voices, nobody uh, panicking. Um, we felt like we were the better. If we're the better team, we were going to win, and we felt like we were. We felt like we had a, you know, if we came out and made some adjustments to our zone. Um, our zone was better for us in this game coming in <clears throat> because of Adam's ability to get in the paint. He's really good on the pick and roll, so we made a couple adjustments in our, uh, our, our zone. Um, and our kids just started competing harder. Really, it comes down to everybody wants to say, what, what did you say at halftime or what did you do at halftime? You know, it's simple adjustment in the zone, stayed with it. Uh, and these two guys, you know, our seniors play like seniors, you know. Kyle uh, Myers, best game since he's been here. Um, and, um, you know, Dot got back on the boards. You know, he's, for people to say that Dot, Dot is just a scorer or losing sight of what he's really good at, you know. Uh, last couple games he hasn't, but, you know, Dot's um, one of only two guys this year that's ranked in the top 10 in scoring and rebounding in this league. And look at the position he plays. That's pretty special. Um, but, you know, we just uh, played smart. Didn't shoot the ball well. You know, our, our, our guards, um, I think Rob and Galen and Wes were three for 22. Now digest that for a minute. Those, those three guys, <clears throat> two of them outstanding shooters. You know, Rob, three for 10. Wes, 0 for 4. Galen, 1 for 8. So you know, it was our, our backcourt's three for 22, and we win the game. Well, it's because we defended and rebounded. You know, look at their size. Look how big they are. Well, we, we won the boards. But Dodd doesn't get nine and Kyle doesn't get 11. We're not going to win the boards. Um, but I thought the uh, combination of Devin and Chicken tonight was really good. You know, uh, Devin did some good things. Chicken did some good things. But collectively, they were pretty good. Um, so it's, it's a good win. It's good to get to 19 wins. Uh, it's good to be in third place get to our 10th conference win. And, um, but you know, this time of year, <clears throat> as soon as the game's over, it's almost like that bus is left. We got to go catch the next bus. And that was the Memphis on Sunday. Joe, you hit, on, you hit on the, you know, it's not always just about scoring. But was that where you were more proud of the, the, the defense going after the loose ball? Yeah. Second just, yeah, I, I just thought our, our effort and toughness you, you could tell our culture took over for us in the second half, um, and we have one. You know, uh, there's a lot of schools that have good teams, and they just, um, you know, when they're not hitting shots, they can't win. You know, programs that have great cultures. Cultures are, are when you have a culture, it means you have a great program. That means you can win games without making shots. And that, that speaks volumes about the kind of kids we have and the kind of culture we've established here in three years. Yeah, but you know, one of the things I told him at halftime was um, I thought that was a big play, Chicken tipping that ball in, and I'll tell you why. You know, Chicken tipped the ball in. I always, when the team's holding it for one shot, I always ask whose possession arrow is it to start the second half then. So I knew they had the ball to start the second half. Um, chicken tipped that ball in and cut the lead to 10. That means that we could come out and get a stop to start the second half. If we're down, by being down 10, we could get a stop, go score, and be down eight. Now, if Chicken doesn't tip that ball in, it's a 12-point game. They come out and score, start the half, is 14. So instead of 14, it's, eight, it's almost a six-point swing there. Um, but knowing, knowing that uh, we could go get a stop and get the single digits, um, but that was big. But also having having seniors that have a lot of pride is uh, big too. You know, we we never got an offensive rhythm. You know, uh, Van Beck's a really good shooter. You know, he he couldn't. You know, he couldn't uh, hit water if he fell out of the boat tonight. He just couldn't make a shot. 
uh, Dot missed some shots. Um, but our defense and our rebounding was good. You know, Kyle made that uh, three. Um, to say he was due was an understatement. <laughs> We could rely on them tonight. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, I was back up there. Um, well, I almost put Bird in at the end of the game because he's our best big man free throw shooter. Um, but uh, Kyle made two in a row tonight. And that's the first time all year. Maybe in his career he's made two in a row. I'm not sure. But since he made a three, I just thought maybe it was his night. <laughs> but no, free throw shooting is uh, – usually we're on the other end of that. Um, but um, – you know, Rob hit, missed that last free throw. He'd have been 10 for 10, but um, we have good free throw shooters. But you know, a lot of times when you're locked in and you're, you lose yourself into the competition of the game, every, everything goes good for you. You know, we, we, did, we, we had a poor offensive night, but Connecticut's a good defensive team too. I hate it when coaches say we just couldn't make a shot like the other team didn't have something to do with it. So, um, you know, they have great length. You know, they're 7'1 and 6'11, 6'10, 6'11 off the bench. I mean, you go to the rim, they, they have an effect on your shots and, and, and probably have an effect on your jump shots because they know if you go in there, you got to battle that size. But I, I just like the fact that we won with our defense and our effort. I thought our toughness and how hard we play, how we played the second half was, was, um, was, real, was real gratifying for, for me. Mm-hmm. To, to take those and to, to be able to pick yourself up and to what, what, you know your team already, but did you learn something else tonight about what y'all can do when, when you can withstand you know, something like that? Um, like Coach always say, uh, the culture of this program and um, just standing together and believing in each other and uh, knowing what we have to do to overcome that ad- adversity. Um, like at halftime, Coach just wrote on the board maturity, and I knew that that had to come from us seniors and our leadership. So just stand together and plan for each other. We can overcome that. Tyler, you, had, you, know, you mentioned your best game since you hit it in the last two games. You contributed different ways. I remember that one streak we had a lot of rebound. Uh, it's a matter of your senior wanting to put this together as much as you can down the stretch here to look for so much on the line for the team? Yeah. Um, I, I want to leave a mark on this school, but I, I think the school deserves um, to, to try to get to the tournament. They, they deserve uh, a fabulous culture and everything. I, I just want to be one of those uh, leaders on the team that can leave with a culture and that it's something that the team can look back and say, this is what he did, this is what it takes to win, and that's all I'm really looking for. That three that you shot, uh, <laughs> I think you had made just one yeah. earlier in the year. Uh, yeah. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Um, they look like they set it up early. They that one up or? Uh, it, it wasn't drawn up that way at all. I just happened to be open. Um, and I want to thank Rob for <laughs> believing in me. And <laughs> I put a lot of work into the shot and then just finally had to get one to fall. I have him free. You know, he's not a bad shooter at all. At all. You know, he's, he's not. He can make shots. <laughs> like the free throw line. He, he, sometimes he takes – it's like a Rubik's Cube up there for him. But he, he can make that shot. He really but can. In the, in the, the times during the week that we talked to you, you mentioned Kyle late in the season here, what he's done. Mm-hmm. Is that just one of the sign of, like you said, the maturity and the senior to, to come out of whatever, you know, maybe you're not playing as well. Yeah, I, I love the way Kyle's playing. I, I really do. He's, he's – he's, um, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of moving up with Dot. Is, is helping us with leadership. You know, Dot's been there all year. And, you know, Kyle's been up and down with his play. And, you know, Kyle's human. When you're not playing well, it's hard to lead. You know, it really is. Um, but uh, Kyle is, is, is by far our best five man. You know, he makes us, he makes us click. Not just offensively either. He's, uh, when he's rebounding like, and, and if he can rebound like that against um, uh, that, that front line, and they've been rebounding their tail off. Uh, is, is makes me excited about what he can do going forward. But uh, you know, another thing about our team, uh, Joseph, that doesn't get talked about a lot, is we lead this conference in uh, fewest number of turnovers. You know, 
when you're turning the ball over 14, 15, 16 times a game, that means you're playing against two teams. You're playing against the other team and you're playing against yourself. It's hard to beat one team. It's impossible to beat two. You know, we're, we're averaging um, less than 10, 10 turnovers a game, or right at 10, maybe nine point something. And tonight, we only have five in 40 minutes. You know, that, that's a testament to our discipline and uh, our, our guys' execution. So I'm proud of the fact that we take care of the basketball. Uh, we're a good shooting team, obviously. I mean, we're, we're a good offensive team. Didn't shoot it very well tonight, but hats off to Connecticut. You had said before the game, you know, first and second right now are a little bit out of the league, but finishing third was kind of the goal or to get, to get that spot. Come back here and get the, the win. Does that certainly help going on the road where you're going to have yeah. really tough ones coming up? Well, so is everybody else. I mean, Connecticut still got to play SMU and, and uh, Cincinnati, you know. Um, Memphis has got to play Cincinnati tomorrow night. I mean, we've played all these people. Uh, every, at the end of the day, you don't ever look at where you are today. Um, you know, I, I look at everybody's schedule they got left. We're not the only team has got a tough schedule. Um, um, but winning tonight it means, means that we swept Connecticut. <clears throat> I don't know when's the last time Houston swept Connecticut, but the, uh, um, that means if we end up tied with them, then we have the tiebreaker. That's why... That's, that's the only reason why that's significant for me.